member of the Northern Elders Forum and the chairman of Maje Foundation, Alaji Rufai Mukta Damaji, has asked the Minister of Works, Babatunde Fashola, to honorably resign his position for failing to complete any project since his assumption of office as Works Minister five years ago. Damaji said it is no longer a story that, for example, in the entire northern region, no single project embarked upon by the minister has been completed despite the huge taxpayers' money allocated to his ministry. Mokta Damaji, who is representing the views of the Northern Elders Forum, said if the minister refused to voluntarily resign, the president, Muhammadu Buhari, should hesitate to quickly sack him and subject him to scrutiny to know what happens to billions of taxpayers' money allocated to his ministry. For example, look at the issue of Mambila hydropower projects. Over time, the minister has been deceiving the president and indeed Nigerians that works have reached high percentage but only for a committee to now expose that there is nothing on ground there. Really? Hmm. He noted that the issue of Mambila hydropower projects is enough to sack the minister as asking or asking him to resign honorably, but he chooses to remain aloof as if all is all right. He said, if people like Fashola continue to talk about rotational presidency back to the south, they might provoke us to reject voting for anybody from that region because we consider him a failure and nothing more. You could see that no single road project is being completed under Fashola in the entire northern Nigeria even the darling Kano, Kaduna Abuja Road, is saying can't be completed till after their tenure. So what are we saying? Talking about the problems of insecurity in the north, Dam Maji worried that the region lacks leadership that will steer its mission and design a roadmap for its survivor. We fall into the trap of insecurity for many reasons one of which was because of lack of leadership in the region and lead, uh, indeed lack of tentative roadmap for its survival and indeed negligence of the traditional institution which earlier on were uh, mirrors. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So because of a... Uh, so is it today that they know that uh, the roads have not been completed, all the projects and the billions of Naira you know, giving to his ministry, is it today that they are just discovering it or because he said uh, the root is was talking about uh, the rotation of uh, the presidency? Okay, <laughs> these people uh, they are really really funny. So, had it been you can imagine if he has spoken in favor of uh, the power to be to still be retained in the north, you think uh, they will come out with this uh, this whole thing when we say things are not working well, they say everything is working well, but because he just made this statement of a uh, presidency uh, rotation. Oh my goodness, they're now picking on him. You can imagine how hypocritical these people can be. And this idea of a will not support. Ah, even Buhari, how many people supported Buhari? So if you don't support, other people will support anybody. So this idea of a whatever, because the only thing these people are banking on is using underage a, a, a voters to, to, to get their votes. That is what they do. That is what they are banking on. And I don't know why the system is allowing that. Even with the overwhelming evidence, Nobody seems to say anything about it. Underage voting, that is what has been happening there. You see, the other as this imagery, they will just count all of them join. They say they have voted. You can imagine the calibers of people who are voting for them. If you don't vote for anybody, other people can vote now. So it's <laughs> I don't know this kind of the bragging. What is the what the brag is all about? Well, this man who called himself a member of Northern Elders Forum lacks the characteristics of an elder. If he said did not last good leaders then should we continue to allow incompetent northern leaders to rule us the south should produce the next president for this country to move forward in apc is the turn of the south but in pdp it is the turn of the north because south have done it enough the northern elders should extend their dragnet it is not fashion lad that has not done well in his, in this administration even this president is not doing well on the seat. 
the president ought to have even resigned because we don't even know what he's doing there. He ought to have resigned. That is it. He ought to have resigned. Why can't we be having this kind of person as a president and things are going on this way? In everything he has failed, he ought to have resigned. Not even only Fashola, all of them. They ought to have resigned if really they have conscience. Noted, but what of Pruta, the chief of army staff, and Mohammed, the inspector general of police, either should demand for their sack if they have God fearing, or they should retire voluntarily because of insecurity in the north? Boko Haram terrorists and bandits, of course, they, they won't go there, <laughs> they won't talk about that. All of them they failed because he said there should be shifting of power to the south. Now I know not is the problem of Nigeria. Of course not, because he said it. If not, they wouldn't have come up. Because if really they are not discovering, because he said uh, the power to shift to the to the south, they are not discovering that uh, a lot of work that he's supposed to have completed or he's supposed to have done, he didn't do them. Now they are now knowing that, no, something is really wrong somewhere. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. Where? Where are the north, northern hypocrites, mullahs and elders? The North is in ruins with Boko Haram, illiteracy, bandits, kidnappers, killer, esme, and all of that. These people do not see anything wrong with all those who are heading such ministries so that they can resign. Mad people everywhere. What about the police chief and chief of army are during the killing people that are killing people everywhere? Tell them to resign. The service chief, have they resigned? Things are going wrong as far as uh, security is concerned. You have not told them to resign. You have told them they have been carrying nobody. They don't. They are not even answering you. All of them are the same. The fashola, all of them, all of them, all of them. They are just deceiving themselves. Well, uh, because he talked about power rotation. Now you just woke up from your slumber. Can you imagine what a country? Power drunk set of leaders. My friend, where are you? Where are you people not willing to come down from your pride, thinking you can be vain? Dedicated by shifting your blame on other regions of the country. My candid advice to you people from the north is to seek God forgiveness for all your scheming against your people in the north and other regions of the north. Hence, the wrath of God is just beginning. Yes, their people are suffering. They don't even care about them. They don't care about them. All they want is power. I must be this. We must retain power. And... We must continue to rule. Failed northern leaders. When will you demand a sack of all the appointees who have failed all Nigerians woefully? Shameful. Since you want him sacked, type his sack letter by yourself. Go deliver to his office or you don't know the place. You can use Google Map. Hmm, can you see? If Ashala is considered a failure, Buari has even failed woefully and should resign. Of course, more than failure. More than failure. So guys, let's hear your opinion and let's know your thoughts on this.